Hi friends! Today's Thursday and Thursday is another circle time day and I'm so glad you're here with me. So today is special for us because we are in a new month. So let's do our calendar. All right my friends, today is Thursday, right? April, very good, second. Okay, count with me. This is an easy one. One, two. I knew you could do that because we count to 30 all the time, don't we? Okay, so I wanna talk about the butterfly life cycle some more. I'm gonna bring this over here so you can see it and you can help me because instead of a word, I have a picture for you. So, let's read our poem together. The Butterfly Life Cycle. First comes a butterfly, right, who lays an egg. Great job. Out comes a, who's this guy? A caterpillar with many legs. Oh, see the caterpillar. Great job. Spin and spin. A little, what's this? It's a big kindergarten word. Chrysalis, did you remember? Everybody say that, chrysalis. A little chrysalis to sleep in, just like our caterpillars did. Oh, 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 look and see. Oh, 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 look and see. Out of the chrysalis, great, my oh my. Out comes a pretty butterfly, right? Great job. So up here on my felt board, I have our butterfly life cycle still. So if you remember from our poem and from all that we've talked about this week, first we have a butterfly and the butterfly flies to a leaf and what does it do? Lays an egg, great job. And those eggs hatch, and what comes out? A caterpillar, excellent. And then that caterpillar eats and eats and eats and eats, and then it makes itself a chrysalis. Great job. And then after it sleeps in that chrysalis for a little while, it hatches out, and what does it become? We're back up here at the top, a butterfly. Great. Okay. So I have a game for us to play, are you ready? In these envelopes, I have riddles and I need your help solving the riddles, okay? So, riddle number one. This insect started as a caterpillar crawling on the ground, but now it has beautiful wings that help it fly from flower to flower. Which insect is inside my envelope? You think so? Let's take a peek and see, shall we? A butterfly. Did you say butterfly? Great job. Okay, riddle number two. This insect makes honey. You will recognize it by its yellow and black stripes, but watch out for that stinger. Which insect is inside my envelope? Those are good guesses. Let's see. Did you choose a bumblebee or a honeybee? You're right. Great job. Here we go. Riddle number three. When this insect gets inside your house, it may buzz around and drive you crazy. But don't worry, it doesn't sting or bite. What insect do I have in my envelope? Did you pick a fly? Great job. Okay, Let's see if you can get this one. Riddle number four. This tiny insect might live in a crack in your sidewalk. If you drop crumbs during a picnic, it will carry them away. What insect do you think I have in my envelope? An ant, you're right. That was too easy. Maybe we should try a harder one. 
Riddle number five. This insect might have red wings with black dots. Even the boy insects have this girly name. What insect do I have inside my envelope? Did you pick a ladybug? Good for you. All right, riddle number six. This insect likes to suck your blood. When it bites you in the summer, you might get a red itchy bump. What insect do I have in my envelope? Did you all pick a mosquito? Good job. That's an awful friendly looking mosquito. Miss Michelle doesn't think they're so friendly. Riddle number seven. This insect has glittery, beautiful wings and a long shiny body. Don't be fooled by its name though. It doesn't breathe fire. It doesn't breathe fire. What kind of insect might I have in my envelope? Those are good guesses. Let's see. A dragonfly. Did you get that one? Good job. Okay, this is our last riddle. Are you ready? This insect uses its long front two legs to hold its food. Sometimes it looks like it's praying. What insect do I have inside my envelope? This one's hard. Did you pick a praying mantis? If you did, that was really good. You guys are so smart. Okay, now, if we were in our classroom, Miss Michelle would come up with some words to put on our word wall, right? Right, but we don't have a word wall. So I'm just gonna hold up some and we're gonna talk about them. I'll be the word wall. So, bug words, ready? What word do you think this might be? Look at your picture, what do we have here? An ant, good job. What about this one? A bee, excellent. And this look at little guy, what word do you think this is? Caterpillar, great. What about this one? Butterfly, we've been talking about that all week. You might be recognizing that word now. And this one down here, it's a little different. Dragonfly, great job. All right, let's try another one. All right, what's this guy right here? What do you think this word is? Fly, good job. What about this word? Here's our clue. A grasshopper, excellent. And this one, ladybug, yes. What about this one? Spider, good job. Okay, this one, that's a flower, you're right. Why do you think we have a flower in our bug words? Lots of bugs like flowers and plants, don't they? What about this one right here? It's a little harder, that's a jar. Sometimes people like to catch bugs and put them in a jar for a little bit and observe them. Remember my observe word? What does that mean? Where we look at things with our eyes and, and check them out, right? And then they let them go. All right, last ones. What are these on the leaf right here? Eggs, good job. And what is this? It's a big kindergarten word, do you remember? Chrysalis. Great job. Now, we've already had the word butterfly. So this is a certain kind of butterfly. And we see them here in Texas sometimes. They're bigger and red, orange and black, and they're, they fly around at certain times of the year. And it's a monarch butterfly. What do you think this little guy is doing right here? Do you think he's trying to catch a bug? This word is catch. Good job. And what do you think this one is right here? A worm, excellent. We have a story about a worm today. And what's this science tool right here? We use them in our classroom, don't we? It's a magnifying glass. Excellent. Well, those were our word wall words. You guys did a great job. All right. So now 
I'm gonna read you this great book called Diary of a Worm by Doreen Cronin. So let's go over our parts of a book. Are you ready? What's this part called? The back cover, right. And what's this part called? The front cover. Great job. What about this one? The spine. And what happens when you don't have a spine? You flop down like a noodle. Great job. And what is this called right here? The title page. Excellent. And who writes the story? The author. I can't fool you guys. And who draws the pictures? That's right, the illustrator. Okay, let's get started, shall we? Do you know what a diary is? A diary is where you write down things that happen to you or things that you dream about or things that you pray about to keep track of. So this is a diary of a little worm. March 20th. Mom says there are three things I should always remember. One, the earth gives us everything we need. Two, when we dig tunnels, we help take care of the earth. Three, never bother daddy when he's eating the newspaper. Pictures, this one says, that's me. And this one where he's digging the tunnel says, must make tunnel, help earth breathe. And there's a big chomp from daddy eating the newspaper. Do your daddies eat the newspaper? I hope not. March 29th. Today, I tried to teach Spider how to dig. First of all, his legs got stuck. I think I've twisted one of my ankles. Then he swallowed a bunch of dirt. I give up. Tomorrow, he's going to teach me how to walk upside down. Do you think spiders are supposed to know how to dig? I don't think so. Do you think worms are supposed to hang upside down and walk upside down? We'll see. March 30th, worms cannot walk upside down. Uh-oh. April 4th, fishing season started today. We all dug deeper. Did you guys hear something? April 10th, it rained all night and the ground was soaked. We spent the entire day on the sidewalk. Hopscotch is a very dangerous game. April 15th, I forgot my lunch today. I got so hungry that I ate my homework. My teacher made me write, I will not eat my homework, 10 times. When I was finished, I ate that too. April 20th. I snuck up on some kids in the park today. They didn't hear me coming. I wiggled up right between them and they screamed. I love when they do that. May 1st, Grandpa taught us that good manners are very important. So today, I said good morning to the first aunt I saw. Good morning. There were 600 more of them in line. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How you doing? Good morning. Nice to see you. Howdy, good morning. I stood there all day. He said good morning to all those ants. May 8th, had the worst nightmare last night. Giant birds playing hopscotch. Mom says I have to stop eating so much garbage right before I go to bed. May 15th, I got into a fight with Spider today. He told me you need legs to be cool. Then he ran. I couldn't keep up. Maybe he's right. May 16th, I made Spider laugh so hard he fell out of his tree. Who needs legs?
May 28th. Last night, I went to the school dance. You put your head in, you put your head out. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself about. That's all we could do. Because they don't have any arms and legs to do the right arm in, right arm out. <laughs> June 5th. Today, we made macaroni necklaces in art class. I brought mine home and we ate it for dinner. June 15th. My older sister thinks she's so pretty. I told her that no matter how much time she spends looking in the mirror, her face will always look just like her rear end. Spider thought that was really funny. Mom did not. July 4th. When I grow up, I want to be a secret service agent. Spider says I will have to be very careful because the president might step on me by mistake. It's a dangerous job, I told him, but someone's got to do it. July 28th. Three things I don't like about being a worm. One, I can't chew gum. Two, I can't have a dog. Three, all that homework. Do you think worms have lots of homework? And this is him asking his mom if he can keep that dog. Where are they going to put him? He's huge. July 29th. Three good things about being a worm. One, I never have to go to the dentist. Two, I never get in trouble for tracking mud through the house. And three, I never have to take a bath. Who's my grubby little boy, his mom says. August 1st. It's not always easy being a worm. We're very small. And sometimes people forget that we're even here. But like mom always says, the earth never forgets we're here. And then this is pages from his scrapbook. It's a picture of when a bee stung him and a, an awesome leaf he thinks he found. Does that look like a leaf? It looks like a dollar bill to me. And I found this really cool rock. Does that look like a rock to you? No, what do you think it is? A baseball, right. Um, and Superworm, his comic, and his sister's slumber party, and his favorite pile of dirt. All right, I hope you enjoyed that book today. This is one of my favorites. All right, I will see you guys all tomorrow for art day. I miss you all, and I'll see you soon. Bye!